I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today's Buick, well, it's got an interesting story right off the bat. And I have Stark with me, nice to meet you. and his brother Steen, the Traxlers. And um, I had to have the brother explain this one to me. So <laughs> tell me uh, why this, first of all, what, well, let's start with uh, Steen. Steen, what year, make, and model do we have? It is a 1967 Buick GS340. And Stark, tell me the story of why you're holding this hubcap and how this plays into this car. Well, the reason why I'm holding this hubcap is, is my brother here bought a set of new old stock hubcaps like these, a set of four of them. And he had four of these, but he didn't own a Buick at the time. So he says, now i got to find a Buick to put them on. <laughs> so that's what led to the purchase of this car here. So let's take a look at the car that turned out to have the hubcaps. Stark, thank you. Steve, come back with me. Now, Stark does the restoration of your cars. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, he just changed these to the correct hubcaps for this car. Yes. But that's quite the story <laughs> of this one. So, you're on eBay, you find them. Is that how it worked out? I saw them and I thought, boy, those are some great looking <laughs> wheel covers. I knew they were very rare. And I bought them and I thought, Boy, I bet you a 66 or a 67 would be the right body style for those wheel covers. And, and that, that is the, the year of the, the wheel covers too. So then I started looking for a car and actually a guy that we knew back in the early 80s had one of these cars. His was silver. They only came either in white or silver. And always liked his car. It was unusual. They didn't make a whole lot of them. Uh, they actually started producing them in the middle of the model year, so uh, you know that, that probably kept the numbers down to, well, I believe, under 4,000 of these cars were produced. And with the red letters, or excuse me, the red um, lines along with the red inserts, man, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a, it's a great look. And this is the correct scoops. Yeah. So and they were actually red. They were. Yeah. Yeah. So the GS 340s, as opposed to a GS 400. Came, the, the 340s came with the red stripe going down the side, the painted red scoops, and the uh, the red wheels. Uh, and I think uh, on the back, the uh, insert on the trunk there, that is also painted red. So a little different than the GS400 cars. And the GS400 would have been painted black. Yes. And the scoops on a GS400 would have just been, they would have been body color. Body color. Let's take a look. There's our, I'll get the close up. And we'll take a step back on this. And that looks good sitting in front of you in a light. Yeah. How oh, interesting, too, on the back windows had a, had a little kind of 67 GTO look. Oh, absolutely. Where it yeah. cuts in there yeah. on the window. Yep. Let's take a look at the uh, trunk, shall we? Wow, that's clean. That looks clean. So this car started out life in, originally, I believe, was in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And, uh, not this place. Sure. Now, can I go come in here? Oh, absolutely. Thanks. Go ahead. You were saying. And, uh, so originally in a Pennsylvania car, and then it made its way down to Georgia. And that's, I bought it from a, a, a Buick collector in Georgia. And you've had this one since? Oh, I think since either 2015 or early 2016. Big bench seat. Yeah. So the GS340 cars, this was the interior. Uh, you could not option it with a different interior. They all have the same exact interior. Now, was there four speeds in this one, or was it all automatics? You know, I don't know the answer okay. to that. Okay, that's all right. 
a viewer I will... believe they were all automatics because they're uh, two two speed switch pitch uh, transmissions and I'm sure a viewer can share some knowledge on that tell me about the mobile air here you know that that was in the car I believe that's a fairly old unit so when that was installed I don't know everything works it, it just needs to uh, have a, a recharge right at the moment that's awesome and although I've got the wheel specifically turned I'm just going to do that so you can see that wheel with that Interesting three-point wheel, really. I mean, it doesn't seem, yeah. you know, yeah. gives you a lot of room to handle. Yeah. Let's open the hood, shall we? Sure. Of course, I'm looking for the, uh, the release. I don't know that it has a release. <laughs> might, have one, might have one on the nose. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Steve, to your credit, you've got... That's great sound. To your credit, you've got quite a few cars, yeah. so... So you have to kind of take a moment to remember which one does which. That's the wonderful part. Yeah. Now that air cleaner is uh, that is factory correct, and that was the same air cleaner that General Motors used on the GTOs. So the '67 GS 340s would have had they used to call it the Star Wars uh, air cleaner. It was this red fiberglass piece? It's very cool. Uh, the 340 cars got the uh, the GTO. Air cleaner. For all of you who like to decode those. The air conditioning unit you know, looks like it's been there for a while, right? Yeah, I think it, it definitely looks like an older unit. They're possibly a little day two or maybe even Somebody will give us some thoughts on that. All right, let's fire, shall we? Sure. Listen to that idle. That's a good idle. It's got a good sound for a 340. Not bad at all. Yeah, it so, was a fairly high compression motor. What's the, uh, when you're driving this, what's the reaction? What do people do? Uh, there are a lot of looks and uh, usually people asking, what is that? So it's, it's a, a bit of an unusual car. And it uh, gets the proper attention though. It does, it does. It's fun to drive. Wonderful. I think what we'll do is we'll take this for a quick little ride. Okay. We'll also give it a, a little ride by. Thanks for being on the channel. All right, thank you very much. All right, so I'm back here with Steen, and we're in his uh, GS340 Buick on a perfect day. How do you like driving this thing? Oh, I love driving this car. It, it, it runs fantastic, it shifts fantastic, it's got a great ride. It, it's really a joy to drive this car. Let's, uh, let's give it some gas. Sounds great. Right up to the legal speed limit, too, just the way we like to do it. Absolutely. also feel I've got my bat belt on when I'm in this <laughs> car. feel well protected. Now, I know you and your brother Stark like to go to some car shows, so this one gets out to some car shows. It does. It definitely does. You know, this, this car turned out so nice. Uh, it's a lower mileage car to begin with, and, uh, you know, so the restoration on it, when we were restoring it, there were no surprises with this car at all. So it it's really a nice car. Wonderful. Steve, I'm going to have a drive-by here at the end, and we'll call it a day. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Thanks for being on my car story.